Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Leah. So I've been trying to find a bag for my mom. I want to give her something for Christmas, even though she will get it way after Christmas because she does not live here. And I found something that she might like. So this is the bag that I found for her. It is called Double Sip Shoulder Bag in Signature. So she has exactly, not exactly, similar bag like this, but it is in leather. The difference is that the, the one in leather, the division of the compartment is a little bit different. I will show you how her bag looks like. So. I think she's gonna like this one. Uh, this is not leather. This is a signature canvas, coated canvas with the C signature print. And it also the same on the back. Now the middle is made of leather. It's kind of a burnished brown leather. It has this top handle. I do not think you can carry this as shoulder bag because it's too short unless you put an extension on both sides here. I will show you the extension uh, later on. So the, the way to open this bag, it has this turn lock on the side. This is how it looks like when it's locked and you turn it vertically to open the bag. So there you go. Oh, by the way, this is just the front that has this, the bag, because there are another compartment on the bag does not have that turn lock. So just the front, and it's, prob it's probably for aesthetic. Okay, so you open this, and the other one, open the other way around so one open to the left the other one open the back one open to the right so here you go how it looks like i'll remove this so the inside is made of fabric is maroon kind of dark red in color there is no pocket whatsoever in this two compartment. But the middle, we have another compartment. And this comes with a crossbody strap. So the middle compartment is the most spacious, as you can see here. It's most spacious. It has a slip pocket. The middle compartment has the slip pocket and it, it can fit quite a lot. Okay, and it's also made of fabric, maroon fabric on the inside. So this is the side with the hang tag. The bottom doesn't have any feet. And let's put the strap. Now the strap has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. And this one is set in the third hole. So I will put this at the longest because that's probably how I'm going to wear it if I am the one who's wearing it. But my mom is shorter than me. She, I believe she's probably five foot. So she can adjust this leather. So the hardware is brass and it is a dog clip for the strap. So let's put that on. The other strap also dog clip here. So let's put this on at the same space, the same O-ring. There you go. Let's try it on. So 
so here you go this is at the longest setting so this is too long even for me so that the third hole is probably is the best uh, setting yeah this is too small for me so as you can see this is a quite attractive bag and see i don't think she likes a lot of um, a lot of things going on with the bag so this one is very simple but elegant bag so and let's try this on the crook of your arm it is nice and let's try it as a shoulder bag see it doesn't sit right it's going to slide from your shoulder unless you hold it very tightly like that so i will show you how to extend this bag if you want to use it as a shoulder bag so here you go the extension strap that i'm talking about let's put that on each side so here is one side of that small strap we attach it over here on one side and put the other one on the back so it looks like that and let's put another one so this extension one is dog clip and the other one is just a close round loop over here so let's put that on this side too oh by the way i bought this bag from a person in facebook group so this is not new she said she only used it once or twice so it's pretty new as you can see there is still some um a little bit one left over wrapping here so this is how it looks like after i put an extension to extension so let's try it on so this is much better as a shoulder bag is longer now if this is too long for you you can just put one extension instead of two but once again i still don't feel like this is gonna be a good shoulder bag because this tend to slide down my shoulder so i'm not sure how she's going to carry it because she likes shoulder bag anyway let's do the measurement so the bottom length is about 11 inches and it is eight inches tall and the width at the bottom it is four inches so i'll show you the other bag that she owns this is the bag that she owns i also own one but she doesn't have the one with the whip stitch so it looks similar but it's all leather and it doesn't have the middle compartment it's just two compartment like that this bag actually has the third compartment so it's it has more space and she does take quite a bit of stuff with her let's do what fits i have my ipad mini mini ipad i will put it on the back the mini ipad does not fit so that's kind of disappointing but she doesn't use any ipad anyway let's do the full size wallet i put it on the back here uh kiss lock from dooney i put it on the front and i will put two card cases in the middle and my key 
and the charm that comes with it and alcohol so all of them fits that's quite a lot of item and it gets heavy because i put a lot of stuff there so here you go full size wallet kiss lock wallet and two card cases key and alcohol you still can put your phone either on the back here or on the front but it's quite heavy already <laughs> i don't really carry all of this stuff i usually carry if i want to bring a lot of stuff i bring all of them except the kiss lock most of the time i don't bring the full-size wallet because i put all my card over here so that's it everyone thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know and i'll talk to you next time don't forget to subscribe and give like bye bye